Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and this is my November Coco Daisy subscription box. And I've had it for a couple of days, but uh, I just haven't had time to unbox it since I've been uh, really hammered with work. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, we open it up to the uh, new Coco Daisy paper. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of upside down right now, but it's got the whoop, the new Coco Daisy um, logo and everything on the uh, paper, which is very pretty. I love it. So this is the November uh, kit. So let me go ahead and pull all of this out. And we'll put that over to the side. And um, this is called Acorn Lane. Let me grab my glasses really quick. I took them off to set this up and forgot to put them back on. So we've had so much fun working with Linus Spot that we can't help but do it again. If you if you remember, she created a set of adorable gnome artwork for a December kit um, in 2019, and I couldn't pass up the chance to have her create a new set of gnomes and their woodland friends for November's collection. You'll find plenty of precious woodland creatures, the fox is my favorite, to make you smile and to help you plan what is normally a very busy month. We've chosen a beautiful subdued color palette that will work perfectly with all of your memory keeping and help you record those special fall family traditions. So there you go. And I will tell you now, I freaking love the gnomes. So yes, uh, this is the uh, gift that uh, the um, <laughs> that they sent out uh, to their subscribers, and it says. I miss precedented times um, because we're all in unprecedented times. So I am definitely going to be using that stamp for sure. And then this is their uh, month card that you can use and it's undated. And then on the back, it's got all the information to, uh, if you wanted to uh, become a new subscriber, you can also refer a friend and get ten dollars um to spend in the store and then your friend will get ten dollars to spend in the store so there's that now i get the the planner kit then i also get the planner add-on kit turn that around and then i get the weeks sticker kit so these are the three items that we have and i'm going to go ahead and open up the planner kit right now and we'll try to make sure that I stay in camera here. There is a glare on the screen because I'm doing it at my desk, my uh, work at home desk. But um, let's try to get everything in, in camera here. Okay, so first and foremost, this is the pen. And if you've ever seen me unbox a Coco Daisy kit, you know I freaking love this pen. And while it looks just like a chocolate brown, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a, a glittery brown, which is awesome. And then you've got the almost like taupe colored gems there. And then you've got the Daisy on the top. And I love this pen. Um, I really like it. I love the color and it goes, it's a great match for like, um, this is the uh, Midori, uh, this is the old style Midori um, notebook. So it kind of fits that perfectly, but yeah, I love that. And it comes with one insert and then in here, there's two more inserts because they're very small and I'll, I'll show that to you. And then this is the post-it notes. And go to your, go to, go at your own pace. Those are very cool. And I love that because I'm very slow. I'm a runner, 
but I'm a back of the pack runner. So I'm a slower runner. I am, I am never going to be about speed. I'm going to be about endurance. <laughs> and then this is the washi tape. Oh my God, these are so cool. All right. I already know that I love this artist's work. So the, the uh, December kit from last year was just freaking adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. So it is just a snail, but it is super cute with the mushrooms and everything in the background there. That's so adorable. All right. And the fact that it talks about to go your own pace, go at your own pace. I may put this on my new um, running log. So, put that over to the side. And this is a patch, it looks like. Um, yep, and it's a sticker patch. So, in the back of it, it's got the paper and it's sticky. So, you can choose to do that. Or um, if you have like a cover on cover, uh, like obviously this one is already patterned, but you could put it between your cover on cover and you don't have to um, actually use the sticker. So if you've got that like on your weeks or something, you could do that, but that is a, an adorable sticker. Um, I'm going to put it back in this package so I don't lose it. And I always say this, but, you know, you can always use the back the, or the card, the backing card, as a tip-in or anything like that. She always puts really pretty designs on there. All right. And then these are the uh, die cuts. And I do believe that these should all be stickers. And get them to come out. Woohoo! Yep, they are all. Ooh, they're jumping out of my hands. These are all um, sticker die cuts, which I can tell you right now makes me use them a lot more because I have no. I, I don't like gluing things down, and um, having them already sticker stickerfied, sticker-ish, I don't know what you would call that, makes me very happy. So there's bird, please do not disturb, gnomes! Oh, okay, I freaking love that owl. I hope that owl is, is more places in this kit. Another gnome, mushrooms, oh my god, look at the little hedgehog! From little seeds grow mighty trees. You've got leaves, the snail, and the mushroom. That same fox, another snail, uh, another leaf pattern. Oh, these are very pretty. I really like the colors in this. Ooh, so the more um, leaves and garland kind of thing there. My alone time is for every, <laughs> my alone time is for everyone's safety. I love that so much. And then you've got, these are all the tabs. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the little hedgehog. And these are all stickers as well. So I love that. Oh, I love it so much now. I I, just, I don't know what to do with all my die cuts that I have that are so, that are not stickers. Just like, eh. Especially when they're teeny tiny little die cuts. I'm like, no thank you. I am not going to take the time to glue all of those dang things down. So, and of course I just cut my nails, so. Let me do that. So those are all that package of die cuts. And then these are rub-on stickers. So you it comes with the popsicle stick, which I will just let you know right now, I will not be touching. I hate the feel of popsicle sticks or wooden spoons. It, it freaks me out. Um, 
but I love all of these. I love that. So these are so cute. Okay. See this little squirrel right here? If it didn't have the bit, well, even with the big fluffy tail, that's kind of the look that Tear gives me all the time. And he sits up on his hind legs just like that. That's crazy. Okay. Ah, so cute. All right, another bag or a pouch. Ah, I love these. All right. Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. I love that. And then on the back, reset, readjust, restart, refocus as many times as you have to. That is awesome. I love that so much. And look at the little rainbow snail on the gnome. That is so cute. Now, I will tell you these little things. They are, it's a, like a vinyl leather. It's not, it's not a, it's like a vegan leather, I guess. I always just cut that off. Or actually, I don't even cut it off. I just take it off like that. Because Tear and Heimdall, my two cats, love these things with a passion. They are, I have some that are like tied together like little nunchucks. <laughs> they love them. They flip them around and play with them. I wish I could get it on camera because you guys would just laugh your butts off. So, all right, we're gonna stick these things that I've already done in there. All right, so now we have the papers and the notepad. And this is all, again, still from the uh, planner kit. So it's all still the same kit. So these are the additional um, pen inserts for the pen. And how you get that out, how you do them, is you just pull that out. You unscrew that. And then you just screw the new one in and push that back in. Super easy to replace. And I love these pens, again, so much. This is the notepad. Put yourself at the top of your to-do list every day. I love that, very cool. And then these are the stickers and these stickers I love using on the tabs. Um, you've got notes. You've got a couple of blank ones. Hello, November. Trackers to do daily to-do list challenges. Um, November goals. Month at a glance. Meal plan. Autumn bucket list. I love those. And they fit perfectly in those tabs. Then you have the, um, the stickers that you can use in the dory, which I'll go through next. Um, it's got like meal plan, clean, grocery, celebrate, weekend, uh, next month, today's plans, birthdays. Then you've got like this little arrow there. And I will show you where I use that usually. And then just your your um, your days of the week and then your dates. And then these stickers are all of the little to-do stuff. You've got paying bills, shopping, eating out, coffee, wash, doing laundry, excuse me, um, instant pot, mopping, recycle, trash day, um, then leave the little coffee cups, and then happy Thanksgiving, turn clocks back, election day, woohoo, I hope you all are registered to vote, um, Veterans Day, take a time out, Black Friday, um, AM, PM, to-do list, to-do list, and then you've got two sticky tabs. And then you these are the little um, ring uh, for, for um, ring planners. They're um, hole reinforcers. So you have that. And then you've got November. And then these are actually two stickers. And um, then you've got the little hedgehog, which is so cute. All right. And then these are the papers. And it's a cardstock. And they are double-sided, and they are folded in an A5 size. So this is an A5 size. So you have that side, which is a pretty wood grain. And then this side is a, a pattern, which I think is very pretty. I like that. <gasps> then you've got Noomies and the little tear guy. I think 
think he's so cute. The hedgehog, the gnome, the fox, um, the bird and mushrooms and the snail. And then like a gingham pattern, but it's also like a, it's almost got like um, kind of a tie dye inside of the gingham pattern because it's um, those lighter and darker spots are not shadows. That's actually in the pattern. And then this leaf print. And, ooh, I like that too. That's pretty as well. The chevron. So those are the papers. Let me shove this in here. This is how I usually store my kits, is usually in the bag. So now this is the dory. I get the standard dory. And I used to use this for memory keeping, but let's be honest. 2020 has not been very memorable, so I've just kind of been keeping them. Uh, this is where I use that arrow because it's got that raised arrow there. I wish, honestly, I wish this did not have start here. I wish this cover was not like this. I wish it was just a plain blank cover because I hate having to like deal with that on there. Anyway, sometimes in the winds of change, we find our true direction. And that is definitely true in uh, 2020. So there's the month at a glance. And you've got even love's teeniest moments multiply and matter. Cute little mushrooms there at the, at the corner. And these are broken down into sections. So you can either do one full section for a day or you can do each one. So this could be either three days or six days or whatever you want. Um, it works out that um, I, I usually use these... Um, like a three-day spread, and, and towards the end of the, of the book, you get the same amount. So you, it does work out for a whole month that way. But you can use it any way you want. Um, there's a little snail. Oh, yay, the little owl. I love that owl. I wish he was more in there. Um, owls are one of my totem animals. So Because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, even in 2021. Oh, there's the pretty fox. I love the artwork in this. There's the gnome and the snail and the mushrooms. Oh, now that's very pretty. I love that spread. That's the center of the book. And gratitude helps you see what's there instead of what isn't. Agreed. And then the gnome and the snail. And then you've got that little squirrel again right there who I think looks like Tear, and then the pretty little bluebird, and then the hedgehog there. And nature never did betray the heart that loved her. Okay, William Wordsworth. Um, you've got little mushrooms up there. And the little sleeping fox. And then this is the last spread with the gnome and the mushrooms and the bird. At the end, it says breathe in, breathe out, repeat. I like that. And then that's your dory. Stick that in the little thing. So now we're going to get to the planner add-on kit. So this is an additional kit. Um, ooh, let's see we have a uh, little notebook in here. Awesome. So this is the other washi tape. And it's more of a floral with leaves on it. I actually really like that too. It's got little acorns. Here, let me turn it the right way. It's got acorns and an oak leaf. And yeah, it looks like just flowers and leaves there. Oh, I'm loving this little guy. Ah, so cute. I'm going to pull him off here. This is the little hedgehog. So he's on a paper clip. And uh, 
these are really sturdy um, embroidered paperclip covers. I love that. He is adorable. Just leave him out. And then this is another notepad. Snail. <laughs> Snail in it. And I'll show you how it fits into this in just a moment. Okay, these are more die cuts. Pull this on to the side. Oop. Bunches of little dots in there. One kind of got away, but that's all right. And so, I believe these may not be stickers. Okay, these are just die cuts. They are not stickers. Just trying to double check here. But yeah, these feel very different. They're not, well, I see that, but that one looks like a sticker. Oh, I guess they are stickers. Well, all right. I was, I thought it was weird because I was like, I thought she said all of the die cuts were going to be stickers from now on. So that one at least is. So yeah, I'm assuming these are all stickers. Maybe this one just didn't feel like it on the back, but who gives a hoot? So cute. Oh, it even rhymed. Ha! Huh? So... All right, my whole no nails thing is like not working. So I love that one with the mushrooms. Oh, I guess I should get it on the side there. Um, then you've got half tabs and a bunch of these little dots. So in different colors, like a whole punches. Then another half tab, and uh, you've got plans tab, a to-do tab, and then the uh, little, there's a little gnome, um, and then a snail, another gnome, so cute. More little, oh, oh, yay, the owl, that makes me happy. And the fox. Nuts about, and then the little hedgehog, little flower, the leaf, more leaves, and more dots. Whoa. Well, all right, well that dot does not want to stay on there. One last uh, stop sign thing. Hexagon, whatever they're called. More leaves. More dots. One last little dot. All right, let me stick these back in here. Otherwise, I will lose them all. That does me no good. Some went behind, some went in front. That's all right. At least they're all in there. Okay. Next up, we have the, these are like the little cards. No, don't rip, don't rip. Oh, good, Amy. I just stuck it back down. Okay. All right. <laughs> Not today. That's hilarious. It's Higa time. That's, um, I think it's Swedish. Um, Higa, which is, uh, it's kind of like Langone, but, um, it's a, a way of, it's like cozy. Higa is kind of like cozy in the United States. So, but they, Swedish doesn't have a word for cozy. So it's, yeah, you'll have to look it up. 
um, if you wanted more in-depth description. Um, and then these are the color swatches for the whole kit. And then these are, I'll go into the stickers in a minute. Then you have this dashboard. But I think I love fall most of all. I really like that. And then this is another set of stickers. And yay, my, I, I just love that owl. And that little squirrel is adorable. Uh, then this is an alphabet stickers, and you've got little things there, and then date st stickers. These are days of the week, and uh, circle check boxes. So there's that. Get all of these and tuck them in the, in the thing with the stuff. I'm going to leave that out because I want to show you. All right, so this is a notepad holder. And I happen to have one that I have converted, but it looks like, okay. So you can just stick this through. So this is how, it, what it looks like. And this is like a, it's like a vinyl, um, but it's really nice. And, or as some people would say, a PU leather or a PU leather or vegan leather. Um, so you stick that through and it just kind of pulls like that. And then it's, you use these notepads. You can put one here. And then you can just close it and let me get pen out and that other notepad. Go? No, there was two. Yep. Whoop. Throwing stuff everywhere. So you pull, you can put the pen right there and close it and then just use that as a notepad or a note holder. You can also put the other notepad in here. And you have a holder for both. And that fits just great. Um, these will fit a passport size uh, insert. Now, you see, I do not have one down here that I've modified, but you can punch two holes here, one here and one here, and then holes one here and one here and run elastic, and then you actually can turn this into like a, a passport size uh, traveler's notebook. So you can do that. And there, um, I have done a video on how to do it, and I will link that above in the cards so you can see how I've done it in the past, but it's super simple. You just get a hole punch and um, just punch two holes, one there, one there, one there, one there, and run elastic like you would a regular uh, traveler's notebook. And you can turn it into a traveler's notebook that holds, uh, that uses passport inserts. So it's the same size as a passport. The uh, pocket size notebooks do not fit this. So you have to use a passport size. So that is the note holder, which I think is adorable. And you could Put that little guy in there. It's so cute. Stick him right there. Very adorable. And then last but not least is the Weeks sticker kit. And I love this kit so much. I use these in my weeks. Not all of them. I don't I don't do date covers in my weeks. Um I like the way the weeks looks without covers date covers. So, but I use these sometimes in the dory. So you can do that. So here are the date covers if you want to use them. And then the little things at the bottom, then meal plan, groceries, weekend there. And these are used together. If you can see that. Uh, oops, they're backwards. Just get these out of the way. 
So you have the, um, so they're matching. And so you can do the bottoms here. I'll show you how I use it in my weeks. Like here, um, you've got these here, all things big, start small. Then you've got, um, there's one I've used at the top. Um, you've got the, the Monday through, or Monday through Sunday, and it's like a tracker. And here I was tracking uh, one of my exercises. And then if you've noticed here, it's got week 40 on this one. But here, she stopped adding the week on, um, I think it was in October, she stopped adding the week so that you could use these any week of the month of November. Obviously, it still says November 2020. But like here, I was kind of pigeonholed into using that on this week because it was week 40. Whereas here, I can use any one of these I want in November. And also, I sometimes mix up how I want to do the top. Sometimes I match them. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't use those at all. Like here, this one was not the match for this. But I used it anyway. And pull that off. So that was week 41. I am behind in my weeks. Um, now see here, where did I use that one's partner. So this actually matched this one, but I didn't use one here, so I decided to use that here. And then I mix and matched this and this, but I used this one and it said hello in the original thing. I think it said hello hello September, but September was over here. And so I just liked how these matched. So you can just change it up however you want to use it. So however you want to feel. Um, now, obviously, I mean, even here where it says goodbye October, hello November, you could still switch those up and like use the gnomes with hello November and goodbye October with those this week. Goodbye, October, enjoy life. You don't have to match them together. You can put, you know, like the mushrooms together. However you want to do that. It's all up to you. And I love the fact that she's now not putting the weeks there so that you can mix everything up however you want to do that. So, um, but if you wanted to, you could, you could match all of them, like these mushrooms and this. Slow down, enjoy life. It matches that. So they kind of go in order. So however you wanted to do that, you could do those. But that's where you would use these in your weeks. And then you've got the three box or the three box checklists. Um, the quarter box or the, the boxes. These, all of these boxes fit in the invisible line. So with the Hobonichi Weeks, you have that invisible line. It's kind of like a, they call it an invisible line, but it's like, it's got like a little darker there. So those boxes are made to fit in that. So you can use those at that point, however you want to do that. Um, and you can see here too that these kind of are made to fit within that. You can do that. You can fit those in here, however you want to use them. So I don't use a lot of, of checklists or, or anything like that or the quarter boxes. I do these sometimes, but usually it's like if I don't have a sticker that makes sense, I will use something and write it in. I do use those weak stickers though. So then we have the uh, to-dos and todays, and then this week, and then all of the different little stickers that you can use. 
And these are used like you can kind of see here how I've written Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These actually fit the grid. So those squares match the grid in the Hobonichi Weeks. So if I didn't want to write it out, I could use those stickers, but um, I'm saving them, <laughs> uh, hoarding them really. I don't know why. I, I, I think I kind of, I'm just waiting to start using them in 2020. I don't know. Or 2021. I just, I just want to keep them. Okay. Don't judge me. <laughs> and then you have like these little, these are all washi stickers. So, um, they are, they have like a clear backing. So you can use them however you want to do it. <laughs> Did you say food? That is so much tear. I just can't even get over it. Um, no worries. And then you've got all of these little to-do things and all of that. Nail appointment, doctor's appointment, takeout, trackers, whatever you want to put. Girls night. And you've got like a little tiny gnome right there, which I think is adorable. So you can use these however you want to use them. I love that that has like a little tiny sticker there. So those are the sticker kits. And... I love them. I use them not only in my Hobonichi Weeks, but also in my Hobonichi Cousin of Beck. Um, I use a lot of these stickers in my Cousin of Beck uh, because they don't really take up a lot of room and I just enjoy them. So these I use the most of, these two, the, the set. Um, and then these, I... I just so you are aware, and I usually point this out every time, these numbers here are in squares, and those squares will fit right into those openings. So if you have tweezers, you can put one of that, like the one in there, however you want to do that. So they are, it's a very flexible kit, and I enjoy it quite a bit. So that is the uh, November Cocoa Daisy kit subscription kit and I love it. I do know for sure that I am continuing this uh, subscription into 2021. I am not sure if I'm continuing the other subscriptions or if I'm going to change it up. I don't know yet, but um, I'm keeping it through December and then I will make my decision um, before the first of the year. So, we will see, but I do know that I'm keeping the week's um, subscription because I love that so much. But every time I think about, you know, changing or, you know, canceling part of my subscription, I get cute things like this and I'm like, oh, I love that so much. So, yeah. But I have a plethora of stuff from the past three years that I have done Coco Daisy and... I need to start using it and using more of it. And so I'm thinking about making uh, 2021 a depth year and using everything that I have and trying to spend very little, but we'll see. We tried that for 2020 and yeah, here I am still unboxing. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, I let me know if... Um, you got the kit and uh, how you would use some of this down below. I would appreciate it because, yeah, I'm going to need ideas. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.